Hi, and welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. To have a quick look at what the ports look like on this uh, 7550-48ZP. Uh, so the bottom one here, you've got 36 ports of what they call multi-gig light. So it's uh, 10, 100, 1 gig, 2.5 gig Ethernet. Um, and it, they, it supports 90 watt PoE or 802.3BT. Um, and then you've got 12 ports of uh, 100, 1 gig, 2.5 gig, 5 gig, 10 gig. So, um, so full multi gig. So the other ones were up to 2.5 gigs. These ones are up to 10 gigs, including 5 gig Ethernet, also supporting uh, 90 watt PoE and UPoE. Um, then we have the breakout ports. So these are the integrated ports. So there's two ports of 40 gig for stack or uplink. They're also breakout capable. So both ports are capable of four by 10 gig with the breakout cable, or the bottom one is capable of four by 25 with a breakout cable. And then there's the optional module. So that optional module could be uh, one 100 gig ethernet port. It could be two 40 gig QSFP pluses, or it could be 40 10 gig uh, SFP plus uh, with MaxSec in that case. So any of those are, are options. I just got in a uh, ICX 7550 48 ZP uh, and I thought I'd do a little uh, what's in the box, show you uh, what this thing looks like in case you've never seen one. So let's have a look. So what we have here is uh, 48 ports on the front end, um, and uh, there is a there is two uh, 40 gig ports on the front. There's another modular slot, uh, and I have a module here to go in that slot. Um, we see a status button. There is a, a, a console port here uh, on the back side. Whew. There is um, redundant power supplies. Uh, they don't all come with redundant power supplies. This one does. Uh, so redundant power supplies. There is a serial console port. There is an out-of-band management port. There is a USB, and then there's a, a, a timing uh, port there. There's also the three fan trays that comes included. Uh, so that's the basic characteristics of the switch itself. Uh, then it also comes with a uh, serial to DB9 to RJ45 console. Uh, two power cords in this case, because it's a, it has redundant power supplies. Uh, they don't all do, right? So some of them only come with a single. And then uh, a few little treats. Uh, also, it comes with this, uh, so just rubber, basically rubber feet if you want to do that. This envelope. Uh, grounding lug and grounding screw. This envelope comes with uh, this is a rack mount kit, so the rack mount kit is, in, is uh, included in that envelope. Uh, screws for the rack mount kit are there, as well as. Uh, just some rack lugs. So if you need those for your rack, uh, those are included there. So that's it, rack mount kit there. And then uh, it comes with this really wrapped in this nice cloth bag, uh, little documentation and warnings. There is also a couple of plastic uh, cable retainers. So basically cable zips to keep your cables and then 
lastly this is optional but it came with the uh this is a four by ten gig fiber module to go in that front slot so there's there's other modules that are possible but this one happens to be the uh the four by ten gig uh fiber so that just slides into the module slot when you take that screw out easy as that uh but that's pretty much it so uh, there's a few different models of the 7550. Uh, again, this is the, uh, the 48 ZP. So, uh, so that's it. That's what comes in the box. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.